Alchemy, the science of understanding, deconstructing, and reconstructing matter. However, it is not an all-powerful art. It is impossible to create something out of nothing. If one wishes to obtain something, something of equal value must be given. This is the law of equivalent exchange, the basis of all alchemy. In accordance with this law, there is a taboo among alchemists. Human transmutation is strictly forbidden. For what could equal the value of a human soul? Welcome everyone to the 11th episode of Taki Soba with our long-awaited review of Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. As always, I'm Anime Casual Nate, joined here with the anime lover Malesh. Hello. Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood is a little unique, as it's actually a rewrite of the original Full Metal Alchemist anime, but unlike the original, it follows the manga exactly. I've completed around 30 anime series, but I can already tell that this is my favorite, and I would even say this is the greatest anime I've ever seen, period. Both Malesh and I actually agree on this point, as seen in our favorites anime video. As I said in our favorite anime video, Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood is one of the few anime I consider perfect. Rewatching the show again really made me appreciate the show for what it is. Let's dive into what makes Brotherhood such a special show in every anime lover's heart. Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood debuted in April of 2009 with an amazingly detailed 64 episode run. This show takes place in a world where alchemy is real, and as the intro says, to gain something, something of equal value must be given. You'll see alchemists touch objects in order to transmute them or change their structure. Mass is maintained, and to me it actually looked a lot like earthbending and metalbending from the Avatar universe. However, there is a dark side to alchemy with human transmutation. It's taboo since nothing is considered equal to a human soul. However, this doesn't stop the Elric brothers, Edward and Alphonse, from trying to bring back their dead mother with alchemy. As punishment, Ed loses both Al and his leg, but manages to exchange his right arm for Al's soul, which he binds to an empty suit of armor. The two alchemical prodigies then travel the whole country in order to find a way to get the original bodies back. While the majority of shows that are over 50 episodes usually have a lot of filler or just really bad pacing, Full Metal Alchemist Brother avoids that as the manga was actually finishing up while it was being made. This allowed for Studio Mouse to perfectly pace the show with each of its arcs feeling fresh and meaningful. The tale of Ed and Al traveling across the country, meaning new allies and enemies, truly never gets old. The final arc in particular stood out as all the characters were placed together, leading to a very epic and satisfying ending. A good reason why was due to how much we actually cared about the characters who we'll discuss now. Edward and Alphonse, who go by Ed and Al, are the previously mentioned main characters of this show. They are closely aged teenage brothers who share a strong bond after growing up without a good father figure and a mother who died in their childhood. Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood has an amazing cast of characters, and some characters that you didn't think would stick around for a long time actually stay for dozens of episodes and become pivotal to the plot. Aside from Ben and Al, you'll meet their longtime friend Winry Rockbell, a great female character and a prodigy of making bionic limbs called Automail. She's crucial in Ed's life as he tends to constantly damage his Automail limbs and all of the combat in this anime. Since Ed works for the state military for alchemy, you'll meet a lot of other militant alchemists such as Roy Mustang, Riza Hawkeye, Alex Armstrong, and a lot of others. They will all get a lot of satisfying characterization and development. As for the villains, they are homunculi who are represented by the seven deadly sins created by this mysterious man known as Father. They are also corrupt alchemists that end up helping the homunculi slow down the Elric brothers. The villains themselves are truly evil and they do plenty of things that make you really hate them. Most shonens usually have a group of villains that stand out in one arc. And for me, the homunculi and Father are ranked highly in my favorite groups of all time. Studio Bones is behind aiming this truly gorgeous show. Studio Bones has always been known for their gorgeous work in every show they do even for long-running shounens like Soul Eater. They also did the original Full Metal Alchemist, which is what I consider one of the best looking shows in the early 2000s. They did even better with the animation and art style for Brotherhood. The fluidity of the fight and the great use of painted backgrounds made Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood truly stand out from its other long-running shounen counterparts. Since this show is a lot more than the usual in terms of fight sequences, the way alchemy is incorporated into combat makes for some amazing spectacles. Alchemy combat can get pretty intense, and every fight in the show is just a non-stop flow of eye candy. Now we'll talk about the equally amazing soundtrack and voice acting. Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood showcased what is now my favorite soundtrack ever, even eclipsing the 4-disc soundtrack for Samurai Champloo, which still takes second place in my heart. The Brotherhood soundtrack was composed by Akira Senju, whose other works include the Tales of Vesperia film. In Brotherhood, we hear some excellent orchestral and classical sounding pieces, which fit well with the show's theme being inspired by early 20th century Europe. 
Everything about this soundtrack really hits hard with a wide range of instruments. The most intense moments, the most haunting reveals, and the saddest moments all have amazing accompanying instrumentals. There are five opening and ending themes each as well. They are all great in their own way, and it's really refreshing to hear new theme music so often in the show. Hearing a new opening theme at the start of an episode lets you know that that episode kicks the show into a new gear. I wholeheartedly agree with Nate, as it is one of the best soundtracks I have ever heard. The use of orchestral sounds really jives with me, and the use of it in Brotherhood made me swoon. Moreover, the openings and endings are really good, and in particular, the fifth opening is one of my favorite anime openings of all time. Voice acting wise, the English dub is incredible. As a pantheon of great voice actors such as Vic Magnana, Troy Baker, and even Christopher Sabbath. The only complaint I have with the voice acting in Brotherhood is the unfortunate situation surrounding Alphonse. Now, in the original Fullmetal Alchemist, his voice actor was perfect. However, due to him eventually growing up by the time Brotherhood aired, you can now reprise his role. While the new voice actor does a pretty good job at Alphonse, it was never the same quality as the previous. This dub is another thing from this anime I would also consider the greatest of all time, and yes, even better than the Cowboy Bebop dub. Similarly, since this show is like nothing Japanese and got a strong military and European setting, our Western voice actors fit right in, and as Malesh said, there is an all-star cast. I implore even the subtitled diehards to watch the English dub for this anime. Basically, I can only sing this anime's praises as I did in our favorite anime video. The animation is great, and there is an unbelievable amount of characters who get amazing development, the soundtrack is great, and the English dub is basically the best. The writing is just perfectly paced, and everything about this show is just 11 out of 10. If you or anyone you know hasn't seen Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, you need to do that right now. Even your friends who've never seen the anime ever. Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood will always be a show that I remember for how great it was. It is easily the best show I'd recommend to anyone to get into watching anime. Luckily, Crunchyroll has picked up the rights of Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood after Funimation gave it up. So you should be able to watch all 64 episodes for free on Crunchyroll, dubbed or subbed. As always, if you've already seen Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, click the first link in the description for our post review discussion, which will have a lot of spoilers this time. And thanks for watching our review of Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. Please give it a like and comment for feedback, and we'll see you guys next time with our review of the summer season's hit anime, Love Life Sunshine. Ciao.